you guys loved and smashed that like button on my previous iPhone 11 tips, tricks and hidden features video, link down below. So here we are with another 10 tips, tricks and hidden features for iOS 13 and iPhone 11. Some of these you might know, some of them you may not, but either way, you have to try them. Also, stay until the end because I'm going to be giving away these awesome iPhone 11 cases, but let's get into it. Starting off with an epic new feature, did you know you can pair not only one pair of AirPods, but two to your iPhone? So of course you would open up your AirPods as though you were going to listen to music, but then if your friend has a pair as well, they pop their buds in their ears and then you swipe down on control center and then where you see this icon, you tap on it, you'll see the icon once again, then you'll tap it again and it'll open up this little menu where you can see both your AirPods. Simply select your pair, then select your friend's pair and the bam, just like that, that, both AirPods are connected to your phone. You can control the volume of each AirPods separately and then you can just go ahead, jam your song and enjoy. You can also still change the volume of each individual AirPods by clicking on the volume settings and then just like that you will see both pairs and this function also works with Beats earphones so you can try AirPods and Beats, they'll both work which is awesome. 11 also has voice control so if your hands are a little bit full it's no problem at all you can still command your phone to do a bunch of things just like this hey i'm listening turn on voice control okay i've turned on voice control show names tap whatsapp show grid tap 34 hey mike check this out show names Tap Share Media. Tap Photo and Video Library. Show Grid. Tap 21. Tap Send. Turn off voice control. And boom! Just like that, I controlled my entire phone hands-free. Within Photos, there are a bunch of new features which make life so much easier. So first up, you can now pinch your screen to zoom out and show all your images in tiny thumbnails. This makes life so much easier when trying to find a certain set of images that you took recently without having to scroll for days. Another thing the photo app now does is it collects your images really neatly within days, months, and years. So of course, depending on when you took your pictures, the photo app will automatically categorize them for you. But what's really cool under the months section is it'll categorize specific specific moments within your month as memories. And then if you click on these three dots in the top right hand corner and you select this button that says play, it'll actually create a little movie of all those images and videos you took. And then from there, you can further customize it by choosing your length and even what song you want to play. Once you're happy, you can also share the video with friends, family, you name it. Now, so many of you love the copy and paste feature in my previous video, so here are a couple more quick tips. So you're busy typing out an email or quick message and you want to select a specific word. All you do is you double tap and it'll automatically select that word. It also has smart select, so if you double tap, it'll recognize it's a name, email or phone number and select the whole piece. Then if you want to select the entire sentence, all you do is triple tap and just like that, it'll select the whole thing for you. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Finally, if you tap and swipe, it'll obviously select what you have just swiped. So you tap once, then swipe, and you can select your wording just like that. So you may not have seen this adapter before. And guys, this is an Apple Lightning to USB camera adapter. And now with iOS 13, it has external drive support. And what that means is you can take a USB drive, plug it into this adapter, then take your adapter, plug it into your beautiful iPhone 11, and then in files under the browse section, right over here, you will see your external drive pop up, boom, right over there, no name. And guys, you could not do this before. So if I tap it, I can access the drive and transfer all my pictures, video, music, and documents onto my iPhone 11, or transfer files from my iPhone onto the USB drive. This is a super nifty new feature, and I'll have a link down below to this adapter in case you're interested, but definitely be sure to try your USB before you buy. 
Of course, QR code scanning has been available on the iPhone for a while, but now you can find the icon within your control center. So if you open up the QR code scanner and of course scan a QR code, it'll open up the link for you so quick and easily. And what's also new is you can activate the flashlight while scanning a QR code. But if you want to have that QR code scanner in your control center, simply head on over to settings and make sure it is in the included section under where you customize the controls. And then just in case, if you guys didn't know, you can also scan a QR code just using using the camera application. So as you can see, the link right at the top pops up. You click on that and it'll take you through to your link destination. Now this is a really cool one for all my super organized folks out there. Let's just say you're busy saving a special date within your calendar, like Jane's going away party. Well, all you would do is add in the usual information you would for an event, but right at the bottom over there, you can add an attachment now. So I went into my files, I found Jane's invitation and I attached it to the calendar. So this is really nifty because oftentimes we go into our calendar, we see an event, but we forget maybe what time it is or where it's located or any other extra information that we need. But now that is a thing of the past, thanks to this nifty feature. <laughs> All right, maps, estimated time of arrival. So let's just say you're busy getting directions to one of your favorite restaurants, but your friends or your partner are waiting at that restaurant for you. Well, don't keep them guessing because now you can swipe up from the bottom menu and share your estimated time of arrival with any of your contacts. You simply select the contact you wanna share your estimated time of arrival with, and they will of course get a message or notification of when you are going to arrive. You can also at any time stop sharing your location simply by tapping on that contact if you want, and and you can also share your estimated time of arrival with multiple contacts. So you just click on that sharing with one person, you will see this menu pop up again, tap on another contact and like that, you've shared your ETA. Map collections is also seriously helpful. So if you're in maps and you just swipe up right over there, you will see this option that says new collections. And this is basically where you can create collections of your favorite places. So here I'm typing in favorite restaurants. I created this collection and now I can go in and select all my favorite restaurants and save them to this collection. So I just click on add place, one of my favorite restaurants, the Bistro. I click that plus icon and it's automatically been added. I also searched a couple more of my favorite restaurants and added them just like that. And then later on when I wanna come back, I can simply swipe up and check out all my favorite restaurants in one place. You can also share these collections with any of your contacts, which is super nifty, especially if you know someone coming from another country, simply share your favorite restaurants and they are sorted. So definitely try this out in your maps and create a bunch of collections to make your life easier. The Reminders app has also had a slight little upgrade and if you head on over into it and start creating your list of reminders to do, so things like grocery shopping or walk the doggy at the lake, what you can now do thanks to this new toolbar is just really quick and easily add the time of when you would like to be reminded as well as the location of where this reminder will happen. So I just typed in a lake near my house and selected that as part of my reminder. And then you can also add an image or take a picture there are a whole bunch of things you can do to customize your reminders so that they have a bit more information when you go to actually complete them. So the next time you go to create your reminders, definitely check out that toolbar. So guys, I'm giving away three awesome iPhone 11 cases to my Epic subscribers. These are speed gen cases, which not only look super slick and are very high quality, but they also really protect your device. Whether you have an iPhone 11, 11 Pro or Pro Max, to enter, all you have to do is first be subbed to the channel and then comment down below what your favorite tip, trick or hidden feature was. And if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe or you can check out some of my other iPhone videos right over here, but I will see you in the next one. Toodles!